I am all on my own. How are you not dead? A good answer. You, you realize I'm dead, guys. You don't have to suicide bomb me when I'm dead. It's okay. I accept the death. God. <sighs> yeah, we hit we were way up there. We were like two or three kills from finishing off this particular section. I fell into it in a pit some what? No. Oh, that's this gun. Oh, whatever. And now checkpoints and death. Not necessarily in that order. Uh what did I have for lunch? I had a boiga. Leftovers. Reheated. Guys, you don't. What are you doing? Grunts, am I right? You know what? Hang on, I've been wanting to do this this whole time. Give me a sec. One second. Give it a moment. There it is. Uh, it's under editing. Yep, there it is. Someone name a stage for Mega Man X1, just real quick. Checkpoints? Why would we have checkpoints? Oh shoot, I need to see if Shadow Machine's there too. Perfect sense, Matt Overlord. As I say, I remember you. Mm, don't worry about it, Zach Tap. Don't worry about it. Don't stress. Don't stress. Calm. Peace, calm. Calm, peace. Oh, yeah, StarCraft's. I mean, I think all of the StarCraft music is good. But even StarCraft Original was legit, I think, you know. A very different tone from 2, but good stuff. Uh, let's go with Terran. Yeah, apparently Halo throws we Thwars? Halo Wars 3 was just late. As usual, the timing continues to be what it is. So far, I'm liking the new weapons, but they don't feel different enough, and that's my biggest complaint about them. They are very aesthetically cool, and if you remember in the Halo 1 rumination, I mentioned that there are three big things when it comes to gun design in an FPS, and one of them is cool factor. They need to be cool. There needs to be a visceral, is what I call it, viscerality. There needs to be an enjoyable factor to them, just to wield them. Even if it's just another shotgun, it needs to be because that adds to the enjoyment of the game overall. 
So I'm gonna be super cautious here because I really don't feel like doing this entire section for a third time. So I'm gonna back way the hell off. Say thank you to Ultima Cloud very, very much for the sub. Is that a year? It is a year! Thank you for supporting me for a full year. You are awesome. Thank you. I will put that towards Bloodborne. Give me one moment. I'll write that down. It's two of each console. Jeez Louise. Yeah, I am very content to wait on the Xbox with the Essex. And I am in absolutely no hurry on the PS5. I assume the leak didn't say anything of significance about Halo Wars 3. Oh, and someone asked you a question earlier. Hang on, what was it? Scroll, 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 scroll. It scrolled up the thing. Um, oh, where was it? Aha! Do I think Halo could work as a space RTS? Homeworld style. I'm not sure I know enough about Halo to judge that. They haven't shown off in the games a whole lot of the space battles. But there are space battles, there are fleets, so therefore, by definition, I would go with... Yes, absolutely. As long as it doesn't involve the Flood and the Covenant, I'm cool with it. Uh, tell you what, Zack Taft, I will give you my thoughts on the Master Chief in the Rumination. up there. A guy who's going to one-shot me if I get too close to him, and there's only one method of getting up, isn't there? Great. Go away. Go away. Yeah, honestly, we need more homeworld games in general. Especially, you know, ones that are good. Ones where the 3D elements actually matter and the mission design is awesome. Funny thing, so this morning while I was checking other things, I was like, hey, I wonder if any of the stuff on my wish list on Amazon is on sale. Nope. Not a single item on my wish list on Amazon was on sale. Not one. Something about that amused me. I don't know if it's true this year, but in the past, Amazon usually only puts the stuff they have excess of in the warehouse. You know, stuff that's just sitting around not selling on sale for Black Fridays. So that doesn't surprise me that the things I want are not things that they have in so much bulk that they're having trouble moving units. Okay. That should be a sweep. Give me my checkpoint, please. Cortana to infinity. We're entering the Forerunner structure. Agreed. Breaking up, but coordinates received, infinity. How did you get cords, but... Oh, whatever. Yeah, scalpers need to be... Well, I don't know if they need to be taken out back and shot, although I would probably grin if they were. I've said it already. Assets seized. Welcome to the poorhouse. You jackasses. This elevator should take us directly to the coordinates Infinity provided. Almost like those sentinels wanted us to get the particle cannons offline. Dun dun dun. Be a trap. You say that like there's a second possibility? Oh, that's what I was gonna check. One second, guys. Just give me a second, please. Elder Scrolls Online is not appropriate for all viewing people. Are you old enough to view this game? Uh, 
Yeah, 67% uh, off on Greymore. Is that it? It's the only one that's on sale here. Oh well. Not a huge priority, and at this point I'll only play it for the stream anyways, so... Deprioritized. It's worth noting, by the way, some people think I just don't like scalpers because of, you know, they affect me. That's actually not true. I have disliked scalpers since uh, concerts, is when that, that concept really first came into my acknowledgement of existence. In fact, I believe that's the first time uh, that people started using that phrase, large scale, scalping, you know. Scalpers at concerts can go to hell. Hell, that was in a Simpsons joke back in the late 80s, for God's sakes. Uh, yes and no. The early part of the game was kind of flat and not really great, if I'm being blunt, Jay Meister. That's the negatives I'm debating here. But it has been getting a bit better since then. So, you know, drifting. This looks like the place. Wow. Yeah, that's... That's a bit much. Get through there. There we go. I looked, by the way, to find a mod to reduce this frickin' HDR and bloom. Nope. That makes sense. This game just came out, like, last week. So. The guns should be offline. How's it look from up there? Infinity! Cortana? Something's in here. Chief! Cortana! Cortana! No, Deltron. Okay, so we just lost Cortana. too many of these things around me for comfort right now, if I'm being real. Oh god, don't even get me started about Ticketmaster. In response to another comment. Yeah, there was the Fire All Halos button, and then there was the Whoops button. They put those right next to each other. They were told it wouldn't work, but eh, changing the design documents would take time. Back to it. Okay. Who are you? The librarian. Of the Forerunner, once known as the Librarian. My memories were retained to assist humanity on their path to the mantle. Though sadly, that plan is now at risk. The Didact is leaving Requiem. Soon, you must not allow it. Leaving? He seeks this the composer. A device which will allow him to finally contain the greatest enemy ever faced by the Forerunners. You. Entire systems fell before the Didax warrior servants rose to halt the aggression. When the Didact finally exhausted the humans after a millennia, his sentence was severe. We had no way of knowing that the Forerunners 
not your only enemy. Humanity hadn't been expanding. They were running. For a millennia. From our conflict, without explaining. We were no match for the parasite which pursued you. The forerunners made plans for a final great journey. But the Didact refused to yield our mantle of responsibility. He would save all life in the galaxy. At a cost. In the forerunners' quest for transcendence. The Composer had been intended to bridge the organic and digital realms. It would have made us immortal. But its results soured. The stored personalities fragmented. And our attempts to return them to biological states created only abominations. Such moral concerns faded from the Didact's attention. The Flood only assimilated living tissue. The Composer would provide the Didact his solution and his revenge. Okay! The Prometheans. They're human. Yeah, I called that early. At the beginning, he would have encrypted your entire race if we had not removed the Composer from his care and imprisoned him here. Reclaim her. When I indexed mankind for repopulation, I hid seeds from the Didact. Seeds which would lead to an eventuality. Your physical evolution, your combat skin, even your Ancilla Cortana. You are the culmination of a thousand lifetimes of planning. Planning for what? He has found us. Even in death, her meddling continues. Reclaimer, the gene song I placed within you contains many gifts, including an immunity to the Composer. But it must be unlocked. How? Relinquish your contact essence. Your evolutionary journey must be accelerated. Can I defeat the Didact without it? No. Then do it. Prepare. Uh. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry. Thank you very, very much, Rakaida, for the donation. I did see it in the middle of that. Very much appreciate as always. Thank you. I have put that towards Command and Conquer 3. Uh Toy Middle, Toy Middle, Toy Middle. Uh Way over here. Ah. All reliable. Can I walk faster now? You can walk as fast as you could in the first game. Uh, like over there ish? We're on point right now. How do we get out of here? Elevator, back of the chamber. He runs when he sees the sniper. I can handle our advanced weapons, but a single sniper rifle? Heck with that. I ain't dealing with that nonsense. <sighs> Alright, so... Real talk. I don't like that cutscene we just saw. It was a little bit over-edited, which I'm not a fan of from a purely visual perspective. And I really do not like the whole, ah, I planned this out millennia in advance. Yes, millennia. It's, it's a new form of millennia. Very impressive. I mean, that kind of thing can and has been done properly. I'm not sure this qualifies as an example thereof. If anything, this reminds me of, and this is going to sound like an insult, 
Assassin's Creed 3. If you don't remember, and this is a very minor spoiler, but Assassin's Creed 3 is when it was revealed that they altered math as a failed plan to stop a solar flare. Galenia! I like it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, I've seen worse, but that, it's just, really? And I have to admit, any time the knee-jerk emotional reaction to a plot point is, really? That does kind of make me think that's leaning towards negative. I'm thinking an aggregate. In the interest of fairness, I'm thinking an aggregate negative for that. We had it all planned all along. And I've got other things that might be aggregate negative, so we're probably already building one, so... Uh, how do I phrase this? It was all planned millennia in advance and not properly presented millennia in advance. Uh, there it is. Thank you. Trillennia in advance. Exactly, Mockingburns. It became a meme. Our actions threaten the galaxy, yet we have treated them as the mantle required. Their punishment is just. Justice is reducing their genetics in such short generations from a space-bearing race to... this? They are closer now to the animals they behaved as. If not for their encounter with the Flood, their gene plan could have surpassed our own. They could have someday held the mantle of responsibility. The humans were not meant to protect others. The mantle of responsibility for all things is ours, and ours alone. Yes, the mantle is ours. And we hold it so tight that even in death we shall hold it still. Someone order a pizza? Got a triple snot burger with extra bluch on the side, I think. Your bio readings are all over the map. It's a long story, but I know what the didact's after. I know that part. The librarian filled me in when she snatched me from the system. But what I don't know is what she did to you. Nothing, apparently, since we play exactly the same as before. Which is a shame, since if you're going to introduce a major shift to the gameplay, not just for this game, but for future Halo games, that was the perfect moment to do that in. I'm serious, by the way. That, that would actually be kind of brilliant in its own right. I would probably be praising that. It's like, okay, we want to change the core gameplay loop of this game. How do we do that? Well, and now we have, you know, uh, what was it, Titan Mode or something, you know? Devil Trigger, yeah. Now that's just an aspect of the games going on. Sierra, one one seven to infinity. What's our status? Does Infinity have a shot on the gravity? Yeah, or Spartan Rage, exactly, Zacto. I get what actually happened, Sakage, that's not my point. My point is, in a hypothetical, we're designing a video game, 
you know, what I would have done kind of a scenario, I think this would be the perfect time to introduce a new wrinkle and new complexity, a new mechanic as a regular feature. That's kind of the direction I would have taken it. Marines are just targets I haven't killed yet. Or really good turret gunners, one of the two. an in-between, Deltron. However, there is no such thing as an objector review, in my opinion. I, I don't think such a thing exists. So that really should answer your question in a nutshell. What I try to do is I try to be fair. But objective isn't on the menu. That's true, Haruspus. And that still wouldn't, in my opinion, work unless the Promethean weapons were demonstrably better, which, as we've already addressed, they are not. They're neat. They're different. But... Not worth the build-up, unless you're paying it off with something, you know? Objectively bad game. Okay, we've been, we've been over this, Deltron. <laughs> Nevertheless, there are bad games I enjoy. I enjoy Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, I enjoy Castlevania 2, and I'm sure there's others that I just can't think of right off the top of my head. You heard it, Chief. Line up the shot. I already answered that three or four times, Mockingbirds. The f the f phase on is more interesting to me. The flood is more terrifying. That kind of punishment, not again. This isn't about us or this ship anymore, sir. We've seen what the Didact is capable of. If we let him leave this world, humanity will be at risk. Look, I understand what you think you saw. Think. With all due respect, sir, I know what I saw. And with all due respect to you, soldier, I'm not willing to jeopardize my ship because of the hallucinations of an aging Spartan and his malfunctioning AI. Sir, what if he's right? Nav, as soon as we know we're airtight, I want a course laid into Karanay Station. Com, prepare a warning beacon. I will not allow you to leave this planet! Cortana. I didn't 
didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do that. Commander Lasky. Pursuant to Article 55 of UNSC Regulation 12, 14572, I'm ordering you to remove that AI's data chip and retire it for final dispensation. I don't want to. You don't want me to. Remove Please. the chip now, Commander. Please. I don't want to. Give me that chip. The didact has to be stopped. If you won't do that, I will. I am ordering you to surrender that AI! No, sir. Lieutenant! Arrest that man! Captain! Arrest him! Captain! Get word to Earth that trouble is coming. Cortana and I will do what we can back here. I can give you over 40,000 reasons why I know that sun isn't real. I know it because the emitter's Rayleigh effect is disproportionate to its suggested size. I know it because its stellar cycle is more symmetrical than that of an actual star. But for all that, I'll never actually know if it looks real, if it feels real. Before this is all over, promise me you'll figure out which one of us is the machine. So what's your plan? Infinity's tracked the Didax vessel to a docking structure southeast of here. We'll jump ship as Infinity exits the roof. You know, I was sent down here with orders to prevent you from leaving. In case you'd already gone, I took the precaution of ordering a pelican. Outfitted for full combat pursuit. How apropos. Oh, God, you're wrong about that forerunner. Or whatever he is, Chief. But in the vent, you're not. And I, I'm sorry, can I interrupt this? Because that right there is why last why that other dude who we're going to not name, I don't care what his name is, irritates me. Because this is... so duh that I'm not even sure what to say about it. Let's assume for a moment that you have the opportunity to risk something in order to gain something, okay? Basic economic math. Cost-benefit ratio, right? Now... Let us assume for a moment that you're you're in the captain's shoes. Now, there's this dude, and there's that lady. She's obviously on the fritz, and he's not really obeying you, okay? So there's a reasonable chance that he's wrong, and she's an idiot. Or she's, or, sorry, sorry, that he's an idiot, and she's wrong. Sorry, I said it in the wrong order. Right? That is absolutely possible. Now, so now we know the relative starting playing field, Okay. What does it cost us to go ahead and try and send them off to support for this mission? Okay, here, go. Here's one vehicle. Here's you. Go go do whatever. What, do, what assets do they lose here, exactly? That is a very low cost. What is the potential benefit? Well, if she is not wrong, and if he is not an idiot... Now, I know I'm talking about this from an economic perspective, but do you see my point here? This is why that previous scene irritates me so much, because what Lasky just said is absolutely right. I hope you're wrong, and you're probably wrong, but if you're not, here's a pelican. Please go be right. <laughs> Please fix this. Oh, whatever, Malcor. I stand by my statement. It's pretty clear the captain does not value, and I quote, an aging Spartan too at all. So, now I will admit, that cutscene actually pissed me off sufficiently that I'm trying to pull that down a little bit. 
Like, I'm not even joking. That actually pissed me off. And I had I had to do a couple. Okay, hang on. Take a breath. Take a breath. Because, wow. Also, I've known people like that in real life. And I've had to face people like that in real life. And my favorite part about that is that those people, generally speaking, can't be reasoned with. And those people can go to hell. So yeah, that's that's why I'm not giving it. You'll notice there's no new negative being posited here. It's just <laughs> that guy. That is a well-written scene to piss you off. That being said, uh, let's see here. Let's pull. I am not giving a positive for it. I'm sorry. That's not in the plan. That's not happening. That is happening, and I'll continue to buy that. So I'm going to codify a story negative for basically everything I've seen so far that's been upsetting me. And we're just going to bake that all together into an aggregate. I'm still debating the Cortana thing, but I'm leaning towards either ejecting it or putting it into the aggregate. Uh, where are we at? I already codified that, already codified that, already codified that. Um, and we're codifying. Hello? There we go. Codifying. Come on! There we go. That. Oh, I'd be with... I would sell tickets to that, McDud. Hey, guys, we're gonna club the captain to death. Anyone wanna watch? Funk. 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 <laughs> Have fun. Funk. Funk. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Back into it. Chief. Good luck. Both of you. Come on, Chief. Take a girl for a ride. that mute someone was asking for another example of a character like that to which i say ross mcu didac used this composer to create the prometheans from ancient humans if he wants to finish the job he'll have to find it first our best bet to stop him is keep him firmly on requiem let's hope lasky didn't skimp on that pelican Okay, I do like them saluting as we go by. Definitely, I, I didn't realize the Friends was MCU. Oh. They're really expanding with Disney, aren't they? By the way, another thing I would posit as a potential, I'm not even saying this is a necessary thing, but something they could do to change up things after this part, is let you equip more than two weapons at once. Just a random thought. Because that would pretty substantially change the nature of how the gameplay works. Initiating pre-flight diagnostics. Forward autocannon, check. Lateral rail turrets, check. Thrusters, check. Auxiliary boosters, check. All right. Keying engine. It may be a while before we find another ride home. You know that, right? It'll be okay. We've got two more Halo games after this. Don't worry about it. 
Contact. Didact dead ahead. How do we get inside those shields? Marking two of the larger facilities on your HUD. They're acting as traffic control for resources moving to and from the satellite. If we disrupt their communications, I can forge an override code and convince it to lower those defenses. Controls pretty well. Slight complication. There are millions of transmissions passing through this structure, not simply the ones controlling the movement through the satellite shield. Can you isolate the satellite communications? Not quickly, and shutting them all down is not an option. But destroying the system's attenuators should flood the network. Of course, if Infinity wasn't on their way back to Earth, they could overload the attenuators remotely. We'll handle it. That's partly the point. The attenuators are housed in Faraday enclosures. I'd bet there's a release around here somewhere. So, an SMG, huh? Doesn't have a lot of ammo. But, you know, what can you do? You know what's interesting? I'm finding myself wondering. Okay, the structure contains three central attenuators. Sever those connections and we should be good. I find myself wondering if the captain, regardless of the fact that he's an incompetent moron who deserves to die, actually made the right call or not. Excuse me, excuse me, the correct call or not. And I'm, I'm kind of arguing with myself on that one. I suppose I'll bring that up during the room. Yeah, I was going to say, we already have evidence that he's not a good commander. And that he's not a good leader. So, he's kind of worthless on both of those fronts. But that doesn't necessarily mean he made the wrong, uh, the incorrect call. Look, I'm just saying, Gum Gum, that he deserves to be shot. In the face, for being a Nazi. Up ahead. Any questions? Ah, dang it. Well, that was a waste. That's exactly my points here, Mike. And you, you know this better than I do, but, you know, regulations exist for reasons, but in the middle of high-danger, high-threat combat scenarios, uh, regulations are mostly guidelines. They are the beginning of your decision-making, not the end of it. Uh, my grandfather actually explained this to me. Now, this is World War II era, of course. But the way he explained it to me was the regulations were there to be the baseline, right? 
that's where we start our decision making. It's like, okay, here's where we're starting. Now let's look at the actual situation now that we have our baseline. Okay, well, this and this and this and that, therefore, this is what we're gonna do. Oh my god, I completely dry of ammo. So I'm not actually memeing when I say that, loner. I suppose it's impossible. I'm gonna die. Uh, give me some shields. Give me some shields. So I can do anything. There we go. Shields back. All right. What gun is this? This is the shotgun. All right. Now, see, the funny thing is, I'm not talking about Cortana being called for being retired. Frankly, I think that's actually irrelevant to the topic at hand. And I mean that sincerely. I also say that without knowing anything of future games, which will come after this. Ooh, that would be a good one to quote. I like that idea. No, I'm talking entirely about the situation with the Diet Act and all that. Now, it is worth noting that we, the player, know more than he, the character, knows. That is important to keep in mind. But if a literal war hero who saved the galaxy, and he knows it, is like, hey, dude, there's a big issue down there, and it's a large-scale problem we need to fix. I don't know. Maybe I'd just be at least a little bit inclined to hear him out. Now, you're probably thinking, he did hear him out. No. He, what he did was he... Oh, there's a term for that. He, he put on a polite face, but as soon as he stopped being polite, he revealed what he really thought and what he really felt. It's almost entirely blocking out the satellite communication. Which was, uh, One more target left. not that. Yeah, the fact... The fact that he can actually recite the protocol from memory, and I think Sierra Mike said something to this effect earlier, that's not a good sign. If there is a military man who can recite that kind of a protocol from memory, that says a lot about what they choose to fill their brain with. Thank you, that's humored. That's exactly the word I was thinking of, Kira White Noise. He humored him, then he ignored him. Is that a bad thing, Mr. Red? <laughs> oh, Mr. Red, I hope you never experience rule lawyering in your life. In your real life. Because rules lawyering is rules lawyering. Even in gaming, we don't like rules lawyering. Now imagine it in real life. Because it's much more unpleasant and much, much more dangerous in real life. Rules lowering is how bad things happen. You could say that about a lot of things, but yeah. I'm with Sequoia, to be completely blunt. In fact, to be totally honest, I was actually expecting a mutiny or an arrest right on the spot, given what was happening. I really was. The moment he called for the arrest of Master Chief, I was like, yeah, no, Miss, Miss Hale back there is going to arrest him for, you know, incompetence or negligence, and that's the end of that. I don't know. But I imagine they have some uh, precedent for it, otherwise that protocol he just mentioned would not have existed. Okay. And I'm dead. Great. The increased signal traffic is almost entirely blocking out the satellite communication. God, really? Okay, no, never mind. It's okay, it's okay. Conduct unbecoming an officer. Good way to phrase that, R. Spruce. <sighs> I will admit it was satisfying, and I'm sure this is exactly why they designed it in this manner, 
to not only see his crew completely ignore his order, calling for the arrest, but to actively go out of their way to aid him. Not just, uh, Lasky, but you notice everyone down in the launch bay was saluting us as we went by and being like, yeah, no, we got your back, dude. If someone made a call like that in the Empire, Baron, there would be a full... Probably a full tribunal to assess what the hell went wrong there. Why did this man get in power? And why did he stay there? I mean, do keep in mind, he already wasn't exactly impressing me, Mr. I don't need recon. What? I am, Baron. I've said that several times, obviously, but I know you just fucked up. Sorry. To reiterate, yes, I am quite fond of the Forerunner enemies, the Prometheans, I believe. Still in the same tower, because I was oh, I had to kill everything nearby. No wonder. That's it. Transmission buffers are overflowing. Get us to the second tower. The others scatter like embers over sand. And yet the librarian's champion is unmoved. Yeah, well I'm the PC, so. Cortana, where's this coming from? Where's what coming from? The mantle is responsible to the galaxy shutters all the human. Only the forerunners are its masters. Pride. The Digat's voice. I'm not picking up anything. He's there. Keep trying. The other shotgun. I think so? I don't think I've missed one. Okay. Is that everything? I think it's everything. Arrest Dumbledore. Uh... I mean, I'm pretty sure a drunken monkey... That's no. Would have been a better leader than that jackass. You're right, that really was the Arrest Gandalf moment. The more I think about it, the more that really lines up. Hey, Gandalf thinks Voldemort's back. No, he doesn't. He's just trying to maintain power for himself. The other tower quickly, reaching the you, you think Gandalf more has made up stories about Voldemort returning to take over from your ministry? Yes, and you should arrest him immediately!
<laughs> I'm sorry, I meant Dumbledore. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> They're the same. No, I, I meant Dumbledore, sorry. What's funny is that was probably on purpose since British politicians have a bad habit of being exactly that stupid, so... as Mr. Fudge. I'm pretty sure a pet rock would be a better commander than I don't want to remember his name. Captain Obstruction, uh, Obstinate Bureaucrat. This node's different than the previous tower. The source of the tower communications is a carrier wave generator located somewhere inside. It looks like the carrier wave generator is located at the far end of this chamber. Find us a way across. This gondola should do the trick. Look for its activation switch. Is this... Yep, this is the Mega Death Rifle. I haven't got to try this one off yet. Um, so... This does not look like a jumping puzzle. Well, maybe. Hang on. Aw, there's a switch. Okay. Hey, Scott Skywalker. Take a page out of our old playbook. I'm going to tune your shields to emit an EMP at the same frequency as the communication network. All you'll need to do to trigger it is to make physical contact with the carrier wave generator. It's an elevator mission. Ba -ba -ba -na -ba 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 -na. And of course, I have two very low ammo, very high damage weapons on me. Let's, uh... Anyways, Scott Skywalker. So far, it's it started off pretty bad, if I'm being completely honest. But it's been getting better. It's, it has been a mixed bag. I think Nero's ass mentioned that in chat, too. Covenant! Zydex giving them control of the system overrides. You're going to have to wrestle for it. Uh, okay. The controls are up there. Yeah, by the way. Right, sorry. Point. Would it have not been amusing? I, I, I just, I want you to picture this for a second. I want you to picture the Arbiter walks up to Captain of Obstinate Bureaucrat, looks at him for a second, and then just slugs him as hard as he can. No dialogue. No, not a stab, it has to be a slug. same animation set if you really want to be funny about it. Interesting. What would my shepherd have done? Uh, my shepherd would have a greater understanding of military protocol. Would have taken over the ship and arranged for new orders. That's what my shepherd would have done. And if we are to presume relative equivalency, a.k.a. the crew would be with Shepard just as they were with Master Chief, then the crew would be with her. That is a weird thing to aim. Character in the whole series, Shipmaster. No, I'm gonna stop there. The Shipmaster. Actual character arc, interesting presentation, good insight into the elites. 
Total badassness. Yeah, shipmaster. I can, I can picture it, Zactap. I can picture it. We're in this. Back to the gondola. Wait, wait for me. Wait for me! Well, the good news is we won't kill the Didact this game, so we'll have a whole series of games coming up where we can fight all kinds of new enemies. That'll be great. No, Plutonia. So far... I'd say this one I'm in right now is the only one that approaches interesting. And it's mostly because they like to use the vertical wall climbers. And, you know, the, mob the pseudo mobility of it. I haven't decided yet, Scott Skywalker, but I do like it so far. It's definitely comment worthy, I'm just not, not sure if it's positive worthy. Says. Now that he said that, I'm gonna die right here. That's, okay, we're okay, we're okay. The four runners are just posers. Everyone knows the two runners is where it's at. Only a real fan likes the one runners. No, I agree, Chief. Easy, are they? Has been becoming more of a character each game. It just feels like this is another step. You know, he is even more of a character than he was in three. I heard the three runners are the third most powerful moles amongst the runners, but that, that's just a rumor, I think. So how does the speed run go through here? I do. Look I have out. zero ammo left, however. Trying to lock out the gondola controls again. Your actions change from honor and conditions. Cortana, are you hearing me? No. Die that? Maybe the most boring of the new weapons, but it certainly seems to be the most reliable. Which isn't that just true? Oh, you son of a! Let's see how far back we go. Uh, that's not that's not far. That's not far. Which isn't that true in so many video games where just the assault rifle or the plasma rifle is like the reliable weapon. The all 
situations, you know, whatever you want to call that. wave generators on top of that platform. You only have to enter the field to trigger the EMP. Uh, what? Oh, God. Uh, can you name another one, Silver Mask, for me? To judge with? That doesn't have collision, and we're gone. Didn't, didn't have collision. Uh, there you go. Edie. There's my answer. to trigger the EMP. Okay. There's also Jarvis. I think I might take Jarvis over Edie. I don't know, Valerian. There's so many I want to make. And indeed, I actually have design documents loosely written out, including uh, in my own head, obviously. Actual game designs that I would like to make someday. But if I could only make one, if there's only one game I could make, it would probably be a grand strategy game. It's either that or the Metroidvania. One of the two. Those would be the two big ones. I've had an idea for a Metroidvania game for the better part of five years now, and uh, I want to make that game someday. Give it a second. Can I have my shields back? Please. Please. Just any day now. Can I, can I please have my shi- Please! Can I have my- Come on! Oh my god, sir. Go, go. Hey, there we go. 
Yeah, most people who ask me the video game question would assume I would make an RPG, which is funny, because I don't actually have any design documents for an RPG. Not really. But you said I couldn't cross genre, so I think I'll go with the Metroidvania. Because the strategy game I want to make is a cross-genre game. It's cross-strategy, but still, it, it is still cross-genre, it still counts. Probably not, but I don't think I'd care. If I ever get to the point where I can make video games, I do not care if they sell. Unlike some people, I've already solved the success versus creativity paradox for myself. And the answer that I came up with is you become successful first, then you be creative. It might be the first time someone said something positively about the judges in my setting, Valerian. I'll, I'll take that as a compliment. Do I have any outright evil faction in my setting? No. I don't have any Nazis. Uh, you know what I mean. I don't have any acceptable targets. Raiders. Marauders, thieves, bandits. Most games have the acceptable target. Even now, your kind tinkers with the composer in the shadow of the third ring. Children in fire who disregard the welfare of the galaxy. Argue against me on what, Nero says? About my setting? Or about the, tar the concept of the acceptable target, which is a extremely common topic when it comes to video game design especially, but fiction in general. Stormtroopers! Which we didn't get fleshing out of stormtroopers for years and years. They were just acceptable targets, that's, that's why I call it that. Oh, I get you, Nero's S. Okay, then that makes more sense. Yeah, zombies, robots, stormtroopers, Nazis, bandits, raiders, thieves, demons. It, it, there's always something. Except in my side. Goblins to go to one of the old D&D standbys. You see a guy, you know, always chaotic evil. You know it. To be honest, though, if I'm being real, I didn't... Is he really, John Carpenter? I, was saying, I don't think I pulled, came up with the term acceptable targets, but I don't know where I got it from. Um, I didn't do that on purpose. I didn't set out thinking, there will be no acceptable targets in my setting. It just, that's kind of how I write, so that's how it wrote. That's all. No deliberate intent. Do you truly believe these theatrics can prevent my departure? Embrace your sad fate and retain your nobility. I am already beyond you. Oh yeah, Darkspawn. That's another one. He knows what we're trying to do. If we try to get too close to that ship, we're dead. I... I have an idea. Head for that waypoint. If I had to make an acceptable target? Oh geez, I don't know. I've never even thought about it. Uh, hmm. So I have to come up with an entire species and or faction, which is an acceptable target right off the top of my head right now. Those defense spires we keep running into are being controlled from this tower. Get me to the control room and we might be able to reposition them to block the Didact ship from leaving. What's the name of the clone faction in Endless Space? Because that's the direction I'm thinking in. 
thousands upon thousands of improper clones of one person who was not a good person. And thus the faction is really just one psychopath repeated a few thousand or a million times. You know, if you see a Bob, you can always shoot him because it's Bob. Or you will perish. All in life is choice. And your day to choose has come. Assuming direct control. Sorry, I had to make the joke at some point. I should have done it earlier when he took control of the... the uh, Prometheans. Yes, Horatio, that's what I'm thinking of. He's altering the tower! He's been doing that this whole time, if you've been paying attention. If you see a Bobina, then someone got clever. Also, how would you tell? How would you know it's Bobina? All Bobs must die. Especially that one. And that one. Uh, Deep Ground? Yeah, no, Deep Ground probably qualifies Silver Mask. Oh yeah, also, Flood. Acceptable targets. I know, but how would you tell, Deltron? How would you know that that's Bobina? They would just approach and be like, Hi, what's up? And you're like, hey, what's going on? Eh, everything's cool, cool. And then you turn your back, and that's when the knife comes out. No, Mr. Red, I'm not even out of the first zone. I am nowhere... So all women wearing a dress and lipstick must die, according to Deltron. Deltron, we need to have a chat. Do you do you secretly hate women? Are, are you Red Drac? I think I said his name wrong. It's a Star Trek TOS joke, sorry. Right, I wanted to see that happen. I actually managed to nail the shot the first time, because I hate feel weird in this one, honestly. Red Jack, that's how you're supposed to say it. Red Jack, Red Jack, Red Jack. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. It's, um... I can't think of his name. Red Jack is Piglet, near his ass. Actually, it's a pretty good episode, at least I think so. Well, that hurt. Mm, no, Spartan, but thank you for asking. And that's why. Acceptable targets in Star Trek? Depends on the era. But for the most part, Star Trek doesn't really do acceptable targets. Not really. Where am I? God, I am so turned around. You'd think the Borg, but actually not really. Nowadays, the approach is more to save the Borg rather than to kill the Borg. The Jim Hadar. Well, no, DS9 did quite a bit to try and flesh out the Jim Hadar as well. Oh, I'm way back. I'm the beginning now. Okay. Uh, yeah, of course the Federation has culture. Why wouldn't they? Red shirts. <laughs> That's... Can't, can't argue that. Yes, Mr. Red. That's why you are the villain of all of Trek. There's 
whatever killed me last time. Big explosion. <laughs> I'll agree with that one, Blow Felix. The Flood cover more of our galaxy with each passing day. They feast on the essence of life itself. The only way to stop their advance is to remove that life upon which they feast. My life workers have made plans for the receding of humanity and of all life after the Halos are fired. So you agree the Halos are our only solution? I do. And your husband? My husband has a different opinion of what steps to take against the flood. Did it work? Run the simulation. The procedure is a failure. I am still susceptible to flood infection. That leaves only the Composer. It will not work on my new form. Then you will lead us as always. You would submit to such sacrifice. Didact, if the Composer is our final hope to defeat the Flood, no Promethean would resist. I have led you, my Prometheans, for thousands of years, and I shall continue to lead you. Rise! Rise! And protect the Forerunners! Well, I guess we're gonna kill the didact, guys. Sorry. No offense to all my didact fans in chat right now. That boy's gotta go. I'm seeing this control facility at the top of the tower. We need to be there yesterday. Yesterday? Wow, that's uh, pretty, pretty fast. Oh, a hunter. Two, two hunters. Oh my god. Yes, I saw it. Come on. They're not going to follow me. Of course they're not going to follow me. I wouldn't call him Vader-like. I'm not sure what I would call him. They're not going to advance. Probably for Mises. Doesn't offset it, but you're probably right. In my opinion, obviously. Uh, okay. This is a bad situation. Right here. That's what this is. Hey! Ah, wow. That did not do as much as I was hoping it would do. At all. I was actually aware of that, McDud. I mean, gold shirts, I think, are the biggest death people in general. Ugh. Hang on. Hang on. Give me my shields back. Give me. There we go. There we go. Do it. Okay. 
Okay, that's a cool thing to have. So. Yeah, would you load now, please? Now that I've killed the enemies. Thank you. I don't know who that weirdo is, but he's dumb and lame, Emrotsky. We should get rid of him. Good. Actually, I don't like that pistol, but it was my only option, so, you know. I should probably kill these. Let's be safe about it. Who can... Well, I'll just say this around. Huthor or Shadow Machine, if you were on, could you do me a favor and say something? Thank you. Favorite enemy in the whole series? The Scarab Mining Craft. Made of worms. Yeah, I don't think so either, Gum Gum. I don't think either of them are. It's a shame, but understandable. Thank you, Muhammad Elvis, for the bits, as always, sir. I suppose you know the direction you want those bits to go. What, Von Falkenstein? What? Uh, what? No Shadow Machine. No Huthor. That sucks. Oh, Huthor! What's your availability? For, you know, th this stuff. Go Quick, play. Let me do. Fire controls. Tapping into this fire central net. They're mine. They're no, all mine. What are you doing? I can't prison this Prometheus! My daughter holds me and prisons me! Chief. The ship's online. They're Chief. leaving. I I'm sorry. I don't know what. Track those liches. We can go across them to get to the Didact ship. Wait. Across them? You didn't leave me a lot of options here, lady. Uh, there, there are several liches moving in formation towards the Didact ship. We're only going to have one shot at this. Okay, go! Tana, what's happening? I don't know. Hang on!
Yes, Luthor. Installation 3. It's where Infinity found the coordinates for Requiem. Then why are they bypassing it? Because the Composer's not on the ring. What are you waiting for? That station's not gonna save itself. It's been decent, Scott Skywalker. I'm not sure if it's plus-worthy. I should pay more attention to this. This is UNSC Master Chief to base. Do you read? Yes, I read you. This is Sandy Tilson of Ivanov Station. We're under attack. They're after a Forerunner artifact you took from the Halo Ring. How do you know about that? Doctor, I need you to protect that artifact until we arrive. Send whatever... Do you know what that condescending bitch said to me after our first game of chess? Cortana. Even I don't call him my name anymore. Correct your approach. Yes, but well, he also said he works better alone. I can see why you chose him, Catherine. Cortana. I'm your greatest achievement and you detest Pull up. Me. Now. They're doing a lot better job of showing her than they did earlier, too. I just can't stop them. It's like a thousand of me arguing all at once. Dr. Tilson, are you there? Oh, thank God. When your signal cut off, I Doctor, didn't... listen to me. You have to issue the order to evacuate the station. We've been trying. The Covenant, they've already taken over the landing base. Send me your coordinates. I'll see what I can do about clearing an evac route on my way to you. Yeah, no, that, that scene was actually probably one of the better scenes in the whole game, I'd say, so far. Sorry, I... Just really showing off how bad she's getting. Dr. Tilson, are you there? Oh, thank God. When your signal cut off, I Doctor, didn't... listen to me. You have to issue the order to evacuate the station. We've been trying. The Covenant, they've already taken over the landing base. Send me your coordinates. I'll see what I can do about clearing an evac route on my way to you. Agreed, Dakota. I just realized something. This gun is the Pikachu of this series. It's not that good. It's not that, you know, interesting. But it's really iconic.
I mean, any Pokemon can be turned into something legitimately good. I'll agree with that. So I suppose it's not quite as a fair one-to-one. -one. But I was just wondering myself why there's so many of these stupid things everywhere. In gameplay, I mean, and from a gameplay perspective. Because this is like the gun, and it's because it's, it's iconic. What can we do to keep the Covenant out? Harbor Master Controls can erect a barricade over the bay, but we'll have to locate them. I hate to do this. I have so little shotgun ammo, I might as well go with this thing. I mean, the Covenant are attacking. They should be at peace with the Covenant, right? Right, guys? For four years? Don't answer me, for real. I don't actually want the answer. But that is, that is my first thought here. If I wasn't, you know, informed that there's an explanation, I would be like, oh man, yeah, these poor people. Imagine if you're in the middle of, oh, I don't know, TNG, and all of a sudden the Klingons start attacking, and it's like, what? Whoop! I, mm, I didn't replace my thing yet, apparently. Way too much time with that one. I mean, I don't know if there was a treaty, but the Covenant left Earth after Halo 3, you know that. Right? I gotta admit, that's also probably one of those worst case scenario things, too. It's like, oh my god. You know, you, you, you spend 28 years or whatever it is nearly getting wiped out as a species, the war ends, and then four years later, we're here to kill you, you know. I'll, everyone on this station is probably thinking something of a similar vein right now. A little busy. Got that adhesed to me. Uh, eh, eh, eh. Counts as cover. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dr. Tilson, Base 7 is secure, and we're moving toward your position now. Really? That's incredible! Thank you! I took away the checkpoint negative. 
I honestly think the checkpoints are reasonably well designed here. For once. They're still frustrating, and there are still specific examples where they're not good. But they're good enough, improved enough, that it's no longer a full negative like it was in many of the previous games. Now, the death problem is totally there. So that's, that's getting the negative. It's one of these ones. Except Reach, you're right, we didn't have that issue in Reach. You are absolutely correct, sir. I mean, Halo Wars had a save slot. Thanks. That's my big gun. Uh, I'll stick with that. Yes, this is why I was bringing up the thing, Uthor. We are, to my knowledge, quite close to the end. Uh, uh, railing! I'm gonna die because of railing! No, okay, I made it, I made it. That would have been funny. I can't go over the railing! Thunk! Absence of railing kills me. Presence of railing kills me. I can't wait. Good night, Dakota. You enjoy your evening. I, I'm kind of actually kind of liking this stage, really. But we'll, we'll see what I think of it when we're done with it. Uh, no. I don't think it does work, Gunga. As I mentioned, I mean, I don't have anything new to add that I didn't already say earlier. I think that they do a decent job of showing the emotions better, but that's more about the, the specific facial capture animation, etc., than it is about her new appearance. Yes, I know those two things are related. There's a, there's a couple enemies, Titans. One one or two. We have an ETA, Uthor. Hunters. Close to what I Whoa! You you saw that, right? And we're dead. Teleprot. Hunters. Oh, I know who Thor. That's why I usually do this stuff way in advance. If I could move faster, I'd be fine on these. There you go, that's the specific reason they changed the move speed. Uh, what? Oh god. I don't even know what that one was. I think I had this one. Uh, oh, hello. Fine, game. You gave me like three of these in this one area. I get the hint. Where's the other one? There he is. A five, a five, a five! Oh. 
Well, aside from simply observing, there's also that, J. Kill. You no longer have the ability to simply dodge around hunters because your move speed is lower. In other words, you're literally not covering the distance expected, therefore you're just in the path of the melee swing, whereas in all the previous games, you could successfully dodge out of the way. The end. It's only really come up against the hunters, but it is still a little bit on the irritating side. I also have no idea why that one shot me, but, you know, whatever, we, and we've already complained about the death problem. Dude, add to that. That's the wrong button. That's okay. It, it, we lived anyway, so that's the important part. If you guys really want me to, I will remove the, the reduction of move speed thing from the negative. Because it is a hypothetical, it is something I am theorizing based on observation. Not something I know with total certainty because I can actually do duck into the code and look at that. It does not change the negative at all, so I'm okay with removing that. Because it will not remove the negative. God. Okay, I want to be clear about that. That's on me, but I literally couldn't see what I was aiming at. Because of the freaking glare! You know what? That's the 50,000th time I'm that's come up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mention that as a negative, so... Like, I'm sorry, I've been trying to be fair about the the, the glare and the uh, fake HDR problem. But multiple times it has literally actually reduced the enjoyment of the game uh, by virtue of making it harder to see what I'm looking at. If it was a toggle, I wouldn't even care. If it was a toggle, I'd just be like, nah, okay, just turn it off and I'm good. I'm weirded out that they didn't have an option to reduce it or remove it. I mean, it's not like you can't have graphics options on a console game, especially an Xbox. Well, I didn't see it last time, but in the interest of fairness, now we're gonna pause the game for 30 seconds. Everybody just short Come on! I'm running out of things to say. Okay, so. Um. Thoughts? Because there's our graphics options right there. And any change, one way or the other, is once again going to force another 30 seconds of load time. Sure, we'll turn on off anti-aliasing. Any other thoughts? That's true, Kira White Noise. That's true. Lighting quality. Sure. We'll turn it down to low. Why not? Original and enhanced. Basically, it's do you, it, what they mean is do you want it on medium, low, or high? That's what that means. So that's that's all that is. Sorry. So let's turn that off. Sure. We'll do that, and we'll do lighting too, why not? Let's see what happens, shall we?
does not appear to have improved anything whatsoever. Hang on, let me just glare into the sun here. No difference. I didn't think there would be. I didn't think there would be. Because I, none of those options looked like they were going to change that. But it is good to be sure. Whoops, that... Okay. What? This is a game that came out eight years ago, but it did come out in the the great bloom craze of the tens, I guess. I guess no, that would be the twenties, wouldn't it? No, that's the tens. I'm saying that right. So this, this came out in the great bloom phase of the tens. It's weird to say it that way, but I guess it's accurate. Yeah. The blue and the orange and blue. I usually hear that called the aqua and teal era. Or excuse me, aqua and teal, wow. The amber and teal era. If you don't know what I mean by that, don't worry about it. But I'm sure several of you can think of several amber and teal works right now. God, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, because we, yeah, we had the gray and the brown era. Then we had the amber and teal era. Well, what do you think, Silver Mouse? You tell me. What's your thoughts? Hey, we got him. Okay. Spartan, are you all right? It sounds like the end of the world out there. Well, Cortana, door controls. Tilson's inside the door over there. Um. Oh, you mean these things? Forerunner specimens should not be removed from lattice manually. Excuse me, containment mat lattice manually. I'm sorry. We are currently experiencing system wide outages. If you require immediate assistance, contact infrastructure 04. Specimen 1534 initial findings suggest an imaging component. There's a piece of something. Now we're looking at now, Mr. Red. What happened to then? We passed it when? Just now. That whole back and forth is my favorite joke in Spaceballs. Catherine Halsey, Personal Observations, December 15th, 2554. 
While the survey crew examining Gamma Halo may be what pass for experts at Oni now, they are woefully out of their league for a task of this scale. There has been one somewhat startling discovery. One of the teams stumbled upon a device remarkably similar to the AI Matrix compiler, currently in use by the UNSC. Seeing as how I designed that particular compiler, this finding, needless to say, has piqued my curiosity. So, this is a bit of a spoiler, Harkonnen. Harkonnen, excuse me. But... Of course, Toshikso. I got like four hours left of a normal streaming schedule today. I ain't done. Um... So, an alien rumination will be going live next year. But I just want to tell you something really quick from that. I, uh... I saw Spaceballs before I saw Alien. So, when I walked into Alien, I knew a chestburster was going to happen. I didn't realize how it was going to be portrayed. So, by coincidence, it still shocked the hell out of me, even though I knew it was coming. I desperately hope you know why all this is happening. Because, to be honest, my objectivity isn't doing me a whole lot of good right now. Hold on. I'll start us down. The device you recovered was a Forerunner weapon. The commander of that ship wants it back. Wants it back? You don't think you can remove... It can't leave the station. You know that, right? We don't have any choice, Doctor. It's not a matter of choice. It took three months, and, and the biggest starship the UNSC could throw at it just to relocate it here. Unless you're a lot stronger than you look. It's not going anywhere. Can you give Cortana access to the station's supply manifest? Yeah, I, I agree. Let's let's turn the settings back up. Let's go back to the slow mo. Hang on, hang on. Do the full thing here. Get some positioning. Here we go. Ready? <sighs> Pull out the gun. <sighs> Gotta do sound effects. Very important to do sound effects. <sighs> right down the arm for some reason. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. Ahem. <clears throat> let's uh just. Crank those back up to max. What for? There we go. If we can't move the composer, we have to make sure the didact can't either. Oh, wait. We have years of work invested here. This is not the time for that. I'm sorry. Inventory lists seven excavation-grade Havoc mines. Just one of those would turn this base into a pinata. I'm sorry, Doctor. Keep routing your people to the evac centers. Once we take care of the Composer, you won't have much time. Oh. Make sure the nukes are primed so you can detonate them remotely. Maybe next time you rescue us, you can give us more time to pack. Next time. That's actually a really good character moment. That's good. That's legitimately good. Where the hell did that come from? Like, because you see in her simultaneously, she is very hurt by this, but she's not fighting it. She knows it has to happen. She knows he's not being facetious. She's still grateful. It's just... It sucks. That was a good scene. Uh... What the hell? That's probably the second best scene in the game, in my opinion. And the first best of the scene was at the beginning of this mission. Yeah, it's hard to portray conflicting emotions in a short period of time. It takes talent. It takes skill. 
That was very well done. Uh, that is... Well, that's not the HDR glare. That's the glare. That's the HDR. Do you see it? Dark and... Lightened. Dark and... Lightened. And in some cases, it gets really, really, really bad. Anyways, where's the terminal? What was that? It was back behind that door, wasn't it? The Covenant shot down the first evac shuttle. The station well. should be equipped with outer turrets. If we can reactivate them, I can program the station's defenses to provide cover for the evacuation. Okay. Okay, I'll send you the coordinates. Gimme. 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 You're not listening to me. That is mine now. Get out. Get out. Get out. Uh, terminal. Uh, that maybe? No, that doesn't look like it. I mean, it's right over there. Get me! once more, better than before. Your pets have a nobler purpose ahead of them. You do not face me in person after your deceit. I have an army to build from the raw materials harvested this day. The citizens of this halo are my first conscripts, and with them in my thrall, the Flood will meet its defeat. Humanity's loss of biological form will serve as final payment for their crimes. It is a kindness they do not deserve. What will be done? Move the other humans to safety. Ensure the security of their index samples. They must finish what we have failed to do. Librarian, where are you going? Stop my husband's madness. Nice guy. I like him. I like him. You know, I think I'd like him more if he had about a three foot iron rod sticking out of his mouth through the back of his skull, you know. Never thought I'd see you again.
Officer, seal the door behind me. Yes, sir. Obviously, I'm not playing a legendary Optimus, but I admit, I want to like the Promethean enemies more than I do. There's some cool ideas there, but they don't really follow through mechanically. Don't worry, I'm sure when they show up in Halo 5, it'll be all improved. Bonus tip, or bonus question. How many of you can tell what I'm aiming at for half of these sections? With the glare! I think that's the last of them. Let's go! I mean, the Flood are worse, let's just be honest about that. The Flood are Terravad. Really, really Terravad. I bet you can guess, Lost Mercenary, since I am not aware of anything past this point at all. I don't even know what the enemies are in 5, or if they're the direction of 5. I, I know nothing about 5. In fact, I'm pretty sure at this point, everything I know has already been displayed on camera. All troops to our position. So, put it that way. Fortunately or otherwise, I'm not physically capable of playing 5 yet, so it's not even in the possibility for a future run. Look at that! Look at that! The man with the golden gun. I think the Didact is worse than the Covenant. And the Covenant were, you know, genocidal on a planetary scale, so that's pretty impressive, really. 
but I am one of those people who believes there is such a concept as worse than death. And the didact does seem to be positing a fate worse than death, so... I'd rather be burned. I think that happened to me once, Optimus. I wasn't even sure what happened at first, because it was just like, wait, what? Really? Give me another gun. Give me fine. Can I help you? Well, I asked for a gun. Yeah, I noticed that, Aruspus. Okay, that is actually kind of unpleasant to look at. That's impossible, Gum Gum. If there were, we wouldn't need to use the Flood and the Covenant in every one of these games. Only a few more left. Aw, that's too far. Maybe, Mr. Red. I promise nothing, for I have much other stuff to do. Hey, Huthor, speaking of which, how's that uh, download going? Fire Runner. That does sound kind of cool. I prefer running lore myself. The quick and powerful didaction misplaces things. The main defense console. Play intervention is the prerequisite for success. Why should we save them? <laughs> Insert me into the defense grid. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like the smartest thing I could do right about now. I will say you this, I think she's gonna be the villain in five. And I don't know if that's true or not. I'm here. I mean, Any luck? Kind of Cortana's going bringing the defense grid online now. Okay. That's it. I hear it. We'll broadcast the final evac orders. The nuke? We're rigging it now. Hold it. Leave us back on the upper platform and we'll help you get it to the artifact. The lore runner was always... Actually, and I think I've mentioned this early in a previous run. If we pull this off and actually get back to Halsey... Don't tell her how bad I got. Please. I won't say anything. Thank you. Uh, I actually had someone ask me if I took the name Lore Runner specifically as a reference to the Forerunners. That happened a couple years ago at this point.
favorite weapon in this one? Hmm. Probably one of the new ones. Uh, let's go with the new shotgun. Or the new sniper rifle. One of those two. What? I'm, I'm sorry, what is slow walk, Optimus? Because I was complaining about the slow move speed this entire time. And I even removed it from the review because some people questioned whether or not it even exists, even though I, it really does demonstrably feel slower the whole time. So there's a toggle somewhere to remove slow walk. I mean, I didn't see anything when I was rebinding the key bindings earlier. I don't know. Like, I could do that, obviously. Keep them away from it! They found the composer. Stop them, Chief! You can't let them tell him it is here! Dr. Tilson, the composer's location's compromised. You've got to get that nuke down here. It, it's not ready yet. Ready or not, I need it now. Uh, all right, hang on. Let's slow down the game for another 30 seconds. See if there is a toggle walk button, which I did not see earlier. Because it is possible, I did not see it. Logical. Oh, the last point, obviously. So the mask. It is the only thing she is clinging to right now. Put it that way. I've never understood why they bind caps lock to auto run in some games. It's never made sense to me. Granted, I use the Q button, but I'm the weirdo there, but caps lock? Really? No, that's all. Depends on its tonnage. It doesn't look that big, so I'd say I'm leaning towards scout, but I don't actually know. Maybe a medium.
Oh, it's a death machine. But, I mean, it's its tonnage, you know? Tons? Yeah, no, that that's a light. That is a light mac. Wow, there's a level after this? Holy crap. I actually thought this was the last level. Where is he? Interesting tactic. What do we do with this giant mech? Just send a bunch of grunts with grenades after it. Tilson, where's the warhead? Dr. Tilson. Head back to the elevator platform. I'll keep trying to raise her. Five tons. Wow, that is dinky by Mech Warrior standards. Wait, it's on the other side of the world. My bad. Let's keep the madness then. I'm extremely aware of that McDud, thank you. I'm quite familiar with the Battletech setting. I mean, Battletech has political intrigue and mechs. I say. I'm serious. It's the HRE in space. It's beautiful. I love it. Well, you see, they're beautiful and awesome and amazing, Uthor. Any questions? The Havoc Mines will be in one of the cargo bays. Start us up. Honestly, I don't love Metal Gear Solid. No, I am not a big fan of the Metal Gear Solid series. Immense Casimir Way building outside the atrium! Also, not what I would call political intrigue, personally. Frankly, it also only has one mech of worth, in my opinion. So that's one hell of a uh, tractor beam. Cortana, see if you can raise Tilson. Get me a status on the rest of the station. I can't believe you did that. Cortana, I need that info. about the didact. Don't think about the composer. Only focus on finding me, Tilson. Tilson. Sandra K. Female, 51 years of age. Doctor of Archaeology, Pegasi Institute. Gutter! Biosignature stable on 350 level. B deck. Thank you, Cortana. Jump game? No, we're out. We're going up. Okay. Ah, 
I actually don't like Gundam at all, personally, Spartan, but that's just me. They've compromised the station's hull. The Didact's taken the composer. Get these people to the evac centers. Taken? Taken how? Tap the flight deck. Find us something that can carry a payload. Wait. Something's happening. So we're immune to this. Cortana, can you access the station's defense systems? They're not responding. Cortana. Jeez. It's... They are gone. <laughs> and that is the composer. More Colin Belizzo. I mean, many people like Gundam Blue of Alex, so I'm the weirdo of that one. Are you okay? I monitored the data pulse. I could hear them. What was left of them? We need to move. These people are gone. And more will follow if the Didact reaches Earth. They'll pair you with another AI. Maybe even another Cortana model if Halsey lets them. That's not going to happen. It won't be me. You know that, right? Spinning up a broadsword in Hangar C-11. Whatever the librarian did to you obviously worked. Cortana. It's not over. Not yet. Not yet. Probably money, McDonald. Ship in 200 kilometers. Once we get on board, we'll find the bridge. He's on the move again. The fighter's shields aren't rated for slip space. No, but the didacs are. Stable. We'll be safe as long as we stay below the Didact shields. Where's the composer? Close. 
I should be able to guide us to it. It'll be a Halo game without a late runway sequence. Yeah, I usually don't talk during cutscenes, Complus. I don't know if you know that. Such inoculation should not have been possible. Locking on to his transmission. He's at the composer. We can take them both. Better to the trench run. Um. Broadsword's hull integrity is stable. We'll be safe as long as we. Nevertheless. I have no particular desire or interest to talk to Cortana, no. Close. I should be able to guide us to it. place for him to go. He's not hesitating at all. He just wants to immediately go and crush Earth. He's waited long enough. Yeah, I can't, I can't turn that fast. Yeah, this this is interesting. I'm gonna try something else. See if this helps any. Terenkov radiation. Luxury. You know, one of the only things I don't like about big epic awesome missions, when you die over and over, it no longer feels big or epic or awesome. I know, that's that's on me, I suck, yada yada, but it's not a this game problem. I've seen that in several games, where it's like, big epic, oh, you're dead. Alright, back to epic, oh, you're dead. Big, oh, you're dead. Infinity must have been... Sierra 117 to UNSC Infinity. Captain Del Rio, do you read? Chief, it's Lasky, is that you? Affirmative, sir. Where's the captain? Good. We're in a broadsword carrying a havoc grade payload on approach to delivery. Let's see if we can grease the wheels for you. All ships, prepare to engage. That guy deserves to be court martialed for what happened. His career should be over. And I mean that sincerely. Two major blunders like that in a row? Man should not be in the military at all. Yeah, I can imagine Lord Hood. You did what? Commander, direct all your ships to the composer.
very much for the donation, said Don Crow. If you'll give me just a moment, I'd like to keep concentrating before I lose my groove. But I do want to say thank you very much, as always. off our entrance to the composer. We could try punching a hole in that hull plating, but Infinity won't be able to get a clear shot with all that flak. We'll take care of the guns. Oh, turning in this thing is like turning a boat. Tell you what. Very pretty ship. I do like the homeworld ship's design. I've, I've said it before and I'll say it again. The whole ship's for the win. That's my thought. That should. No? Okay. see what actually killed me there <laughs> well since we died let's go see that donation since now the vibe be gone um <laughs> thank you don crow i'll put that towards sam and max and whatever the full name of the game is i forget but it's on the list i know it's already there Infinity. The Dynag just closed off our entrance to the composer. We could try to punch a hole in that hull plating, but Infinity won't be able to get a clear shot with all that flak. We'll take it. Sorry, I clipped a wing. Sorry. Sorry. See what I mean? As soon as I lose my groove, it's gone. And it takes me a minute to get it back. That's what happened earlier, too. I died like four or five times in a row, and then it's like, okay. I'm gonna head it back. We'll take care of the gun. Whatever you're doing's working. Clear up the approach, and Infinity can drop in to punch a hole for you. Two cannons neutralized. Oh my gosh, a billion dollars or whatever that fake number is. That's so impressive, Colin Peluso. I'll put all of that towards whatever meme answer you want me to put it towards. Copy Cortana. Weapons. Prepare firing slips. Me too. McDud. That's one of the reasons it pissed me off so much. Because I have known people like that and I have worked under people like that, and that was not a fond memory. Sex Adventure 3. Duh. And Infinity Fortnite clear. and Halo at the same time. You might want to back up a little. Main battery? Fire! Clean hit. We're proceeding to insertion. Acknowledged. We'll be on station if you need us. Make sure you give the didact our regards. Infinity out. You're on, Lasky. Time to really Star Fox it up. Even more than we already were. I don't think this is going to end well! Now what do we do? It's bigger than the Death Star. Which one? Plan B. To the grave. Chief, 
I know. I'm supposed to know what to do, but... We'll have to deploy the warhead manually. How and where? I always know what to do. I always know what to do. Just give me a second. Keep scanning for the composer. We'll figure it out on the way. Once again, Old Faithful. By the way, th I mentioned the color coding earlier. This place is exceptionally amber. To go back to my earlier comments. Oh god, this whole game has been amber and teal, I just realized. Where reason does not stop you, perhaps force can at least delay you. Next room after this one? Can anyone beat an LMG? Yeah, Tron Legacy, there's another game that falls... or game. Movie that falls victim to the amber and teal thing. I mean, chain guns beat everything. Unless they're triple chain guns. Then those beat everything. Looking at you, Doom 4. My dear husband, I know your crimes, and I have found forgiveness. I know your reasons. I understand them. I know you. Perhaps better than you could ever hope to know yourself. I ask you, forgive my transgressions. Like yourself, all I have done I have done for the greater good. For the greater good. Our time as the galaxy's caretakers is past. The Flood have overrun us. In the days to come, the Halo Rings will fire, eradicating the Flood. And all other life, for a time. I have worked hard to index all species in known space. When the time comes, these indexes will open, and once more the galaxy will breathe and grow. Blood will pump. Life will claw its way out of the oceans and through the mud. Babes will be born, and grow old under the warmth of a thousand suns. Civilizations will rise in our stead, and our job as caretakers will at last bear fruit. Until then, I leave you here, my love. The only living thing in this galaxy, sealed safely away. Spend these ages ahead of you in meditation on your choices. When you wake, you will find the humans. I have ensured that they will grow strong and vibrant. They will be our rightful heirs. Their gene plan dictates that the galaxy will be theirs to care for by then. I beg of you, find the strength to help them learn from our mistakes. And my husband, let them teach you as well. Please.
he learned nothing. beeping because that's just the low health in our shields are you gonna start coming back yet there you go yeah i like to think that there's a specific thing just in case they want to you know deploy nukes with a spartan and it's just built into their hud Detected an energy signature ahead. I think it's a transit system like on Requiem. Find a way to access it. I'll try to route us to the composer. Put me in the system. Is this the secret you've kept for me? This evolved ancillary. Skydeck knows I'm in the system. Hurry, go! That's another thing we can thank Didact for. He's the one who has caused Cortana to finally lose it. I might have been able to save her, but no, you had to go and be a dick. So, appreciate that, buddy. Way to not be a bro. been, you know, friendly competitors, but no. You had to go all, all oh, humans must die, screw you. That's gonna kill me. Well, I hope you enjoyed that section, because now I get to do it again. Oh, not the whole section. God, I am... I keep being surprised that the checkpoints aren't terrible. Forerunner weapons are the best, huh? I'm just saying. Two, I can put that towards Gum Gum. But if it's okay with you, I will not put it towards Halo Wars 1. Um, and thank you for watching my show. Where's the. Where is this? Where's this at in the timeline? Turned around.
actually do kind of like the Didact, yeah. I don't think he's positive worthy, but he's a decent villain. Yeah, maybe he's pop pop positive worthy. I'll have to think about it. Hurry! I can't control what my processes are doing. The stronger threats keep reprioritizing themselves over me. What about the Didact? I can't hide much longer. I'll try to move you to the composer again. That begs two questions, Mockingbird. One, what exactly is required for the stasis field? And two, whether or not they felt it was actually worth doing on a mass scale. Yeah, maybe it is... I, I don't know, of course, but it's entirely possible they simply did not have the capacity to make enough of those stasis fields in order to save enough people. It's also very, very likely that what happened is the Didact said, No, we're not using the Halo Rings, and we're not going to steal people away in stasis to use the Halo Rings. We're going to beat them conventionally. And that's why that happened. So I guess that's just another thing you can blame the Didact for, Monty Burns. for me, Durable Diction. Counts, you just kind of can't beat the flood conventionally once the flood have reached critical mass. And the flood had absolutely reached critical mass back then. Hold them off while I locate the composer. Uh, okay. Yeah, probably before the millennia of warfare against the wrong target, if I were to guess. Beat the Reapers conventionally. Taking control of the local defense turrets. Not there, Cortana. Right here, Mike. Excellent, Luther. Thank you. I intend to pretty much shift right into it after this. I don't know how much is left of this mission, but there's your ETA. Do 
doing anything. Dude, if they pushed the flood button, I would actually be kind of upset. Because then they would have done exactly what I said they should do, and then also introduced the flood, and it's like, oh, come on! It's double unnecessary at that point. Wait a minute, do we have to bring Sajuk to bear? Seven thousandth time, if you want someone to actually analyze and dissect Halo lore, look up Installation 00. I've never heard of the guy before, but apparently many people recommend him. For them, I don't know. Right now what the turrets are doing is telling me where the enemies are coming from. is useful, it's worth noting. I got it! I brought him out of the system, but I don't know for how long! Sure, Uthor. I'm not supposed to run through that. Wow, alright. You know, I guess. I got it. I blocked him out of the system, but I don't know for how long. He didn't get to enjoy it properly. It's not, a, it's not a holiday if you can't enjoy it. How do we get over there? Conveyor lift. End of the ramp. If we time it right, our momentum should carry us through the low gravity. Chief, Chief. once that warhead is primed, the window for getting out of here is going to be pretty slow. see why you would be wrong to do so, Mockingburns. However, apparently that is a spoiler, which is not your fault, it is their fault for mentioning that that is a spoiler. <laughs> I was not aware anything you were saying was of the spoilery natureness. So, Final refill. I'm just gonna go with Old Faithful for this. I don't know what I'm getting into, so. The Didact shielded himself inside the Composer. The new code to us any code unless we can I've got to do something you're not going to like. What did you just do? I ejected my rampant personality spikes into the system. If I do that in each of those beams, the copies can overwhelm the composer's shield. I 
really couldn't see where I was going there, but that's okay. But I wasn't listening for a mockingbird, so I will assume that's why I didn't hear it. Things have to be terrible at killing these guys, but whatever. Didn't know what I was going up against, so. That as a compliment, Jay Meister. Just in time to quit playing the franchise for probably over a year. Now you say that, I'm gonna die. Why'd you have to say that, Jay Meister? You doomed me. What could possibly go wrong? Thank, thanks for that, Adectus. Appreciate it. Hey, it's Luna. No, not the good one. Oh, wow! That killed me so quickly, I'm not even sure what happened there. Uh, how far back are we? Seriously. Um. Okay. like an hour, Mac Daddy. I haven't really had time in my life, as I usually don't. Effectively, the answer is no. Like some people are like, oh, which company are you? And I'm like, in the very first zone. Not even halfway through it. The only reason I've been doing that at all is because my friend wanted to play and he didn't want to wait, so I kind of had to. Which is okay. You know, I don't mind. I prefer hanging out with him than not hanging out with him. I'm just saying, if it wasn't for that, I would have waited.
sought the Didact. You will have him. people who Thor. Make of that what you will. I'm not trying to make light, I, I understand completely. I am extremely anti-scalper myself, so, you know. You know, it occurs to me, I mentioned earlier that the original you know, acknowledgement of scalpers in my world was from uh, concerts, right? Music events. There is one other way in which I was personally affected by them uh, before the, the, you know, the current events, and that would be Gen Con tickets. People would just buy up all the tickets to the conventions and be like, hey, so double the price. I mean, frankly, I do think scalping should be illegal. It's even easy to define. Reselling is not the same as scalping. Uh, yeah, I would wait, Valerian. If you already have a 2080, I had a 1040, 1080, which is why it's a good jump for me. What you're watching right now, this is a 1040 or 1080 or whatever. I, I can't remember the number all of a sudden, but you know what I'm talking about. If you already have a 2080, it's probably not worth it. And, and yeah, that is ignoring availability. If you can just walk into a Best Buy and buy a 3080 right now, it's an upgrade. But I wouldn't say it's worth it unless you really want to be on the top end at all times. actually worked. Holy crap, that was even on purpose. So I was thinking, they can throw the grenades back, right? I was, and just in the moment, I'm like, you know, I wonder what would happen if I threw it, if it would stun him. Because if you shoot the flyers, they run away. So I threw the grenade, and he was like, oh no, I better throw this back. And he just stood there while he was throwing it back at me. So, you know. It actually worked. Uh, I think Human Revolution is in the list. I forget what else the deck does. We've already done Mankind Divided. It's one of the earliest reviews we ever did. I don't know if the original is on there, and I know Invisible War isn't. I think I own in Human Revolution. I'm not too sure. 
Yeah, Invisible War, I'm pretty sure, sits very solidly in the streamability gap. Not just because of the, the age, but because of the unfortunateness surrounding rights and further ports and digital releases and blah blah blah. So that one's probably not happening. I know I can get Deus Ex the original working, I don't know if I could get it streaming. That'd be silly, bro. No one would do scalping during a pandemic. Oh wait. There was that gentleman in, I think, Utah? Who tried scalping and uh, that didn't work out well for him. Nor should it have. DX revision historically has given me issues, so that's a maybe. But what I tend to do nowadays is if I see a game and it's like, here's what you need to do to get this running, and that's on the list, I usually just go ahead and say no. That's happened a couple times this very week, actually. Go. Oh, we get to redo that entire section. Okay, half that section. Sorry, I keep forgetting. Nope, that's how only half this. Yep, nope, we're, we're where we should be. As soon as I saw the red things, I'm like, yeah, that's game. Just, I don't have the dash equipped, and there's nothing I can do to survive that. So. Just a flinch. I actually really liked Mankind Divided, but... That was more because of the gameplay axis of things than the story. That game did a lot of things right with its game design, in my opinion. Looks like Arizona, or New Mexico, one of the two. Cortana! Feel the whispering?
It's alright, but you must hurry. Current objective. too long after your own defeat. Come then, warrior. Have your resolution. Favor. Your compassion for mankind is misplaced. I'm not doing this for mankind. Gotta have another quick time event. Cortana, do you read? Cortana, come in. How? Oh, I'm the strangest thing you've seen all day? But if we're here... It worked. You did it. Just like you always do. So how do we get out of here? I'm not coming with you this time. What? Most of me is down there. I only held enough back to get you off the ship. No. That's not... We go together. It's already done. 
I am not leaving you here. John. I've waited so long to do that. It was my job to take care of you. We were supposed to take care of each other. And we did. Cortana, please. Wait. Welcome home, John. Yes, Ventures. Mind if I join you? Of course not, sir. At ease, Chief. Feels kinda odd for you to call me, sir. Beautiful, isn't she? I don't get to see her often enough. I grew up in New Harmony. Attended Corbulo Military Academy. Never saw Earth in person until I was an adult, but I still think of her as home. You don't talk much, do you? Chief, I won't pretend to know how you feel. I mean, I've lost people I care about, but. Never anything like you're going through. Our duty as soldiers is to protect humanity. Whatever the cost. You say that like soldiers and humanity are two different things. I mean, soldiers aren't machines. We're just people. I'll let you have the deck to yourself.
Thank you. Every great journey begins with a single step. This is our beginning. Thank you for trusting us with the universe you love and joining us on this epic adventure. Please don't constantly scream and rant and rage about how awful 343 Industries is for the next several years. Oh, wait. What is that, eight years people have been doing that? I know that because people mentioned that yesterday. Yes. Thank you for the donation, Sakage. We taste only defeat. I ask why. We are foreigners, guardians of all that exists. The roots of the galaxy have grown deep under our careful tending. Where there is life, the wisdom of our countless generations has saturated the soil. Our strength is a luminous sun towards which all intelligence blossoms, and the impervious shelter beneath which it has prospered. I stand before you, accused of the sin of ensuring foreigner ascendancy, of attempting to save us from this fate where we are forced to recede. Humanity stands as the greatest threat in the galaxy. Refusing to eradicate them is a fool's gambit. We squander eons in the darkness while they seize our triumphs for their own. The mantle of responsibility for all things belongs to foreigners alone. Think of my acts as you will, but do not doubt the reality. The reclamation has already begun. And we are hopeless to stop it. I, you've said it four times, Zach Daft. I get it. <laughs> oh good, it didn't crash. If you remember, several times before, at that exact point, aka when the game concluded, the game crashed, so... I'm glad it didn't. Is this you, Huthor? Nah, I don't care. Zach Taft. It doesn't matter. So why am I not seeing you? Thank you for the bits, Spartan. As a glance, I'm pretty sure that game's fine, so I'll just add it right now. I'm aware of the TV series. Anything can be made into good TV series, so that's not really a question. And that's my answer to that. Uh, I sure hope there's not region lock. Because um, if there is, this isn't happening. One moment. I don't see you as in a game, Huthor. Just online. I mean, it's not like I own an Xbox, so I can't do that. <laughs> It's not physically possible for me. Um, Chief Silver Mask, easy answer. Uh, 
Hang on, let's go through the 30 seconds of stall. I can't give my thoughts on 343 because I've only played one of their games. It does sound like a familiar pattern I've seen many times before. With many franchises, and that's all I will say. Well, all the regions are selected, Huthor. You shouldn't see me online, but I should see you. My current setup... I hate it when people are doing this. My current setup is 100% feasible for multiplayer. I've already shown that. I group the Shadow Machine, no problem. So I don't need to make myself go live on Steam to see you live in-game. That's not how that works. Indeed, as I mentioned, just mentioned, I can see you online right now. I can even message you. I'm not going to, but you get the idea. I did not get the Steam message, though. Um, let me try something else. And right after we go through another 30 seconds. Try this. If that does nothing, let's see. I do think there's cross play though, Sierra Mike, and I can tell you why. It says mouse and keyboard right there. Okay, now it says you're in game. I'm glad you liked it, J. Kill. That is always the goal, after all. You're sure that's not you, Huthor? <laughs> I mean, whatever. You got the invite, so... We'll see what happens in a moment. We're just gonna wait here for a second. Definitely not playing with my destroyer. It's one of my little fidget things I fidget with periodically while I'm just sitting here waiting. It's from Homeworld. You, you can't see this thing here. I'll hold it up close so you can kind of see a little bit better. There he is. And there we are. Perfect. Now, I am going to turn it down to easy. I hate to do that, but... We're in a rush. I guess we're good on those, so... Ah, uh, thank you, Silver Mask. As always, appreciate. See you around, Jane. Have a good one. Yeah, I, I hate to put it down to easy. I really do. But we're in a hurry. This is a large amount of content I wasn't even made aware of that I 100% were not ready to do. Uh, I was not 100% uh, ready to do when it came to the schedule. And right now, for once... Upsetting the schedule would cause some serious issues. Um, so, what just happened? I literally wasn't looking at the screen. I was writing down that donation from Silver Mask. Uh, I'll... Question mark slash Valiant Hearts. Okay, so... Um... He's in the op. I can't join him. Let's see what happens if I do this. Ironically, no, I don't think he would, Gum Gum. 
I don't think he has enough there to develop PTSD on. Now that is my own ignorance speaking here. But speaking as someone who does suffer from PTSD, it is my it is my personal opinion that you need to have before you can, if that makes sense. Okay, so take two. Now after Halo 4, yes, I do think he can now suffer from PTSD. Wow! Okay! Let me test something real quick. I'm fine with not doing the Spartan Ops, if I'm being completely honest, but I was going to make the effort. I appreciate you downloading the entire game for nothing, Huthor. That was single player. That's what I thought. So. Why don't we do this? Because I had a backup plan anyways. I, I, you probably noticed me thinking about this earlier. Here's what I was thinking, and here is what I am thinking. Uh, if and when we ever get to the point where Halo 5 is in a playable state for me, and you guys really want me to do, you know, Spartan, whatever it's called, Spartan Ops, then we can bake that in there. So... Otherwise, we're just going to walk away from it for now. Which means we're done, effectively. Um, final thoughts. I suppose we'll go ahead and give those. Uh, so this has been the Halo series. I do hope you guys have enjoyed. Final thoughts on the game we just played. Good ending. That game just suddenly nailed everything right at the towards the end there. I gave multiple individual cutscenes pluses. Uh, the composer, the welcome home, the supporting cast. Uh, Cortana got a plus. Chief got a plus. Tilton, her scene, got a plus. Voice acting, the reveal, the animation, the camera work. Good stuff. Ten pluses to story. Negative, the issues with the first half of the game is what that negative is. It's actually an aggregate, but all of the problems I have earlier... No, we'll do it later, Zekta. Um... That was that. Gameplay-wise, uh... You know, hang on. Just one second. Huthor, are you still there? <laughs> he is not there. Darn. Okay, whatever. That's not a big deal. Um, Gameplay-wise, co-op, campaign co-op, mech... Mechs, I should say. Reclaimer mission, composer mission, music. Ultimately, most of the things... I don't see why not, Durable Diction. Ultimately, most of the things uh, that this game did were mostly what I would call average. Most of the arena design, most of the level design, most of that stuff was just average. I'd like to give a positive to the enemies, but really there's only two of them that are substantially variable when it comes to a gameplay axis. That would be the teleporter and, or excuse me, no, no, not the teleporter, the, the hover dude, the hover dude, and the dogs. And the dogs seem more scripted than actually variable, so that just leaves the one new unit, which is interesting and different. And that's, yeah. Um, I suppose I could give an AI plus, so sure, we'll give a plus to AI, because all of them get a plus to AI. AI. Um, I guess we could give the gun, do I want to give the gun plus? Oh, Luther's back. Thank you. Alright, this is actually really simple. You you can just... This will take us like 10 seconds. I just want to pop in here and I want you to kill me, Huthor. Kill me, Huthor. Kill me. Yeah, ex yeah the, the sound design was noticeably different, but I do think it was good. I mean, the sniper rifle sounded awesome, even though we only got it for effectively one small section. Alright, sure. Gun design. 
We'll give a plus to gun design. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Just because it's the same thing that I've been giving pluses for does not mean it doesn't still get pluses. That is how that works. <laughs> um, I will give the plus to sound design, too. So, co-op, co camping co-op, AI, gun design, sound design. The Halo pluses. It gets those. Um, mech, mission, mission, music. Plus for void touching? Already gave it, McDud. Hey. You've been out for a while. Where are we? We're I should have picked a later mission. Back. Whatever, that's on me. You wake me. Hang on. It's Can skippable, it's just we both have to skip it. That's how they usually do things like this. I'm pretty sure this is how the thing worked with Shadow Machine back in Halo 1, too. Activating the ship's gravity generator. Gameplay negatives. Well, we're about to test one of those. Ease of death, I stand by that negative. This is probably one of the worst ease of death Halo games that I've played so far. The early mission designs were actively bland. And the glare on the HDR are both just bleh. I thought you'd never ask. Those are the negatives so far. We've got intrusion alerts lighting up on multiple decks. Alright, Huthor. Kill me! To figure out who's okay. Us is the observation deck. Negative codified. Could it be a team? Thank you, Thor. You have tell you. <laughs> I know this sounds like such a small thing, and I hate to ask you to have done this for what is effectively ten seconds, but this is the kind of testing I want to verify, just to be certain for myself. There is still a second player there, even at the very, 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 very beginning. This is actually why I picked this mission, and there is still mandatory friendly fire. Good co-op. Good campaign co-op. Bad friendly fire, plus, plus, negative. It is not Nero's ass, that is the problem. Oh, I have no idea, Silver Mask. I don't remember any of them distinctly, other than four, the one I was just looking at. So, thank you, Huthor. <sighs> I guess that's it for this one. So the score for this one is going to be plus 9 to story. And plus 5 to gameplay. Uh, to finish my thoughts before I gave away more positives to the game. This game feels more average when it comes to the gameplay axis. Mostly just kind of... I mean, it's there, you know? It's mostly inoffensive. There were no missions that pissed me off. There was no sections where it just was just like, ah. But there wasn't really anything that stuck out either, so it was just kind of, like I said, it was just there. A lot of neutrals, not that I give neutral points, because we've talked about that. So that's my thoughts, and that's my score for this game. Um, we'll see what, you know, whenever we inevitably do play uh, Halo 5, we will see what that's like when we get there. I want to talk about Halo in general. Uh, give me a sec. Well, okay. Where would I rank this compared to the others? Hang on. Let me just paint a nice big target over my face here. And I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to be nice and open about this, because why not piss people off as much as possible? Sure. I would put this at number three. Now, I don't know how the score lines up, but this is the third most replayable one for me. After Reach, which sits very much at the top, and two, which has an awesome story that I can enjoy. You know, if I play it with a friend or something, right? That would be my order. I don't even have to really think about this one, or that one. I would probably put ODST right below this one, by the way. So there's the top four. Um, after that, probably three? So. Yeah, two with the remade graphics and the new cutscenes. Oh, loved it, loved it. But yeah, if I'm going to be damned, I'm going to be damned for who I am. You are absolutely right. Um... Yeah, Wars is probably at the bottom for me. Uh, Sure, Sierra Mike, why not? It will inevitably be playable at some point. It's going to come out on PC, right? Is it? You know what? Hang on. No, let me walk that back. Let me walk that back. Halo 5 PC. Because if it's not coming out on PC... So there's a post here from October 28th. That's a couple weeks ago that says Halo 5 will not be coming out on the PC anytime soon. 
During a stream to celebrate the fifth anniversary of Halo 5, Halo community manager John Junsiek confirmed there are currently no plans to bring Guardians to PC. He also confirmed there are no plans to add Halo 5 to the Master Chief Collection on PC or Xbox. Uh, I don't know what Guardians is, and I don't think I care. And that is very recent. That's, uh, just under a month ago. Oh, Guardians is five. Okay, gotcha. So... What? Why? Especially since, and you already pointed out, Halo Infinite is coming out on PC. It's already got a Steam listing. So, based on that Sierra Mike, I'm gonna walk that back. I am not okay with adding Halo 5, because I'm not okay with, you know, adding a game to the list that might not happen. I am not gonna commit to buying an Xbox right now, you know? Sorry. <sighs> um... Okay, I want to talk about Halo as a franchise. Is that cool? I'll talk about this a little bit in the room, too. But I want to talk about it here. Because A, I know a lot of people look, look at the final thoughts in the VOD. And B, we're at the end. You know, next thing we're playing is FF14. So, what do I think of the Halo series as a whole? Allow me to say the most emotional and human thing I can first. And then we'll get a little more into analysis. This has made me more interested in Halo than I previously was. I've talked about this before. Most of my knowledge and understanding of the Halo setting was the very high-tier stuff, which really, really de-invested me. Right? Just shoved me out of the narrative. It's like, oh, okay, you know, for the, 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 the high-level, ridiculo tech of the Halo rings and the, and the arc and what the, arc, uh, what the Forerunners could do and what the Flood can do, and I'm just staring at that like, what? And so all of that lore, which is almost entirely not in these games, you'll notice, so I'm guessing that's entirely over there um, in the structure of the books or whatever, was just... The games obviously are a little more grounded, but more to the point, there's a lot of interesting stuff here for me. Um, I find a lot of aspects of it very fascinating. The structure of it, again, feels very myth. I know I keep comparing this whole franchise to myth, but the comparisons keep standing. Luthor, I believe, gave me the word, and I'm going to keep using this word, melancholy. That's the overwhelming tonal vibe I get from this franchise, which works quite well, and Bungie is so good at melancholy. Of the many complaints I have about Destiny and Destiny 2, that melancholic tone is definitely not one of them. And yeah, Chief, the Chief himself, and the, he, because he, he's a victim, you know, the nature of the Covenant and how it was structured, the, uh, the ideas of the internecine, the constant infighting, the constant rebellions, the Arbiter deciding to go off as doing his thing. Yes, I would be interested in playing Infinite, and 5, by the way, and Halo Wars 2, if it was not for the show, if, if the show did not exist, they would be on my radar right now. Even knowing all the horrible stuff about 5, I like to make up my own mind about that sort of thing. You know how I am. So, even 5, despite the fact that everyone says it's terrible, would be on my list if the fact it was coming on PC. I do still think someday I'll probably end up buying an Essex. That's still in the, 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 the fog of the future. So that may, and indeed probably will, be on the table at some point in the future. It's just I'm not willing to commit to that right now on a Friday evening while I'm working on this. That's, that's all that is. Um, I'm trying to think uh, where else I was going with that, because I got distracted a little bit there. The games... I actually do enjoy first-person shooters quite a bit. It's probably not obvious, but there's quite a few that I look like quite a bit. It's just... Honestly, I really didn't enjoy most of the shooting aspects of this game. Um, and I've already given the biggest reason why I feel that is. Uh, other than some occasional jank and some other issues when it comes to things. Um, I think that the, it is simply too easy to die. That is simply my opinion. 
I know a lot of people disagree with me on that. In fact, it was one, one of the most common things commented on the Halo 3 rumination was, no, you're wrong, Lore. It's okay, people were being, you know, decent human beings, so there's no toxic comments. In fact, I am very, very proud of you guys, by the way, for the fact that I have gotten zero toxic comments on any of the Halo comments so far on YouTube. That is incredible. You guys are awesome. But anyways, people have been disagreeing with me and telling me I'm wrong, but I do still stand by my opinion. I very much firmly feel that adding the co-op element would be the kind of thing that would actually assist in making, in giving it, you know, that that uh, that recovery mechanic, the kind of thing that Reach had to begin with, and ODST had for that matter. Oh, I'm sure, Baron. I also firmly think that these games would be a lot more fun if I played them with a friend, which. I suppose that's true with most games, but there's a reason why it's been effectively an automatic positive for every single game I've played so far. Now, I actually answered that earlier, Huthor, but I will answer it here again. My absolute favorite character by the end of the day is the Shipmaster, uh, or Artos, or however you pronounce that. He's kind of awesome, and he's cool, and he has a character arc, and he's a great character to bounce off of for the, for the Arbiter. And he's probably our best overall insight into the uh, culture, I think is the word I want to use, of the elites. And he's a great window into what it's like to be a member of the Covenant. So, Artos is probably my biggest pick. After him, I would, I would have to think about that. Johnson is high up there as far as characters that I rather enjoyed. Most of that's meme potential, that's why he's not at the top slot. He is very meme -y. but he was still an awesome character, and so awesome he shall remain. Um, if I was to pick a number three slot... I would probably go with Cortana for number three. Chief at number four, and then the Grave Mind at number five. Past that, I'd have to really start thinking about it. Maybe Virgil at number six. Then I'd really have to start thinking about it. Uh, by the way, I also have to mention that Chief and Cortana were not even in the top five for me until this game. Another reason why Halo 4 is so high on my overall list. Noble Six, cool. Arbiter is an interesting character in that he's cool and awesome and well voice acted and just doesn't get what he deserves as a character. So he is a lot lower than he otherwise probably should be on the list. What about it, Spartan? There's Halsey. It's probably a lead-up to a probably thing with probably Cortana in probably Halo 5. I don't know, of course, that's pure speculation. I do agree that this feels rather different than Halo 4. Or, excuse me, I do agree that Halo 4 feels very much not like a Halo game, Dark Phoenix Gaming. I don't actually disagree with that. Other than a few specific points, it feels like its own vibe. I just don't mind that. I, I have no problem with them shifting the construction of it, the style of it, the tone of it, the cutscene design, etc., etc. Most of my complaints were with the early stuff. Like, and I. It's actually funny because I really stand by my statement that most of the early missions were kind of crap. I mean, I gave a negative to both gameplay and story for it. And then by the end, they just, they suddenly found their footing or something, and they were like, whoosh, and then it was just awesome all of a sudden. Favorite mission across the whole se uh, series. <sighs> Give me a second. Oh, I agree, Dark Fan of Gaming. Four, Kimmick. I think uh, my mind keeps going back to. I don't remember which game it was. I it was I, it was the Reach or Three, where we have to fight. Uh, 
Which game was that? They're they're blurring really hard right now, I'm gonna be honest. Uh two scarabs at once. That whole mission was really good. I would also give spe uh no no no. Let me walk that back. Okay, that was three. I, th I thought so, but I didn't want to say that. I'm torn between that mission. That's the beach landing, isn't it? I'm torn between that mission and one other mission, which is in Reach. Uh, I don't know the name of the mission. It's the mission immediately after the destruction of the supercarrier. When you plummet down, you land, all you got is your pistol. You move forward, the civilians are there. It's the introduction of the Brutes. That was an exceptionally well-crafted mission. And it also had probably the best emotional gut punches of that game, in my opinion. Yeah, watching the city being destroyed. Should we bother to go... Should I Should I scramble uh, rescue and evacuation? Don't bother, right? I, I forget the exact dialogue, and I'm saying it terribly, but you know the scene, the scene I'm talking about. But from both a gameplay and a story axis, that scene, or that whole mission, rocked. So I'm going to give it to the Exodus in Reach as the number one slot, with the Covenant in three as the number two slot for missions. Because I like to pick two favorites. Lone Wolf is interesting and very well designed, but I wouldn't put it in the top five, personally. Negative. No point. Do I have plans to play Spartan Ops? You, you did miss it. Uh, that's going to be a separate stream at some point in the future when it doesn't crash the moment I load it. Most memorable part of Halo 2. I would say it's specifically the scene where they are transferring the power from the elites to the brutes. That has stuck in my mind ever since. Least favorite mission? I talked about this in the Halo 1 rumination. The mission immediately after the library is my least favorite. I don't remember its name. But it's the padding mission. It's the go back through the same areas you've been through and go through the same room three times in a row mission. I, I really did not like that mission. It was... Easily the, the just the blah of Halo 1 for me. And honestly, probably my least favorite mission across the whole franchise. What I do with Chief as a character? What's my least favorite Halo game other than Wars? One. Would I want to make a game in the Halo setting? Like, if I had the power... What would I make? Anybody ever heard of Dragon Commander? Uh, Divinity Dragon Commander or Dragon Divinity Commander? I forget the exact name of the game. It's from the people who make uh, Divinity Original Sin, Divinity Original Sin 2. That game is actually three games in once. It's a cross-genre game. I know I'm in love with cross-genre games. What do you want from me? It was a great game. I loved it. Um, it was Divinity Dragon Commander. That's it. Thank you. I knew it was one of those. It was a board game mixed with an RTS mixed with a political intrigue simulator. It was effect the third part was effectively just dialogue options and choices, but it was well crafted enough to be its own game by itself and one of the more intriguing aspects of the game. So, here's what I'm thinking. I would want to go ahead and have that kind of political intrigue you make decisions, it substantially changes how things go aspect, the political intrigue thing. But the main thing would probably go ahead and be an FPS. I would go ahead and make it a first-person shooter. And I would make it as an, I would make an Arbiter game. Set in the wake of Halo 3. Dealing with the aftermath of the Covenant self-destruction. That's the game I would make. That's where I'd go with that. 
I would even make it so the specific missions you get, or how the missions are, like what set pieces or who is fighting where or whatever, in the mission would change based on your choices in the political intrigue side of things. Whom you'd be fighting, stuff like that. I would also, if I'm, if I wanted to be completely feature creepy here, I would go ahead and add feature creepy. If I wanted to to go above and beyond and be too ambitious, I would add a toggle. And what this toggle would do is it would allow for for friendly fire to be on regardless of anything. What that means, that wasn't on purpose, Lord Firestorm. That there's a whole issue with that. It pissed me off. But let's not get into that right now. Yes, Huthor. Um. What it, uh, what it would mean is, for example, your actions in mission could be tracked, which could cause things to happen in certain directions. So, for example, let's say that you're going through a mission, and you end up killing a whole lot of brutes. Maybe on accident, maybe on purpose. Well, that would then have consequences in the future, and there would be effects from that and your reputation if you want to call it that would be substantially reduced from the brutes which would cause you to lose support from this particular faction and this particular faction and now they're just going to be hostile in future missions just stuff like that right do i think cortana should be brought back in future games no kind of undertaily a little more ambitious but yes i mean the 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 branching uh, design documents of Undertale are absolutely insane. Music on the whole. Good music, improperly utilized, is, is honestly my thoughts for basically the entire franchise. Uh, even Reach, with, it, leave, <laughs> Reach 3 and uh, I think ODST both did the best with not misusing the music, but all of them still misused music in my opinion. We've talked about this extensively the whole way through. And in each of them, there's moments where I just feel that they're not using their music the way that they should. However, the actual music there is really good, in my opinion. Yeah, that. I don't know if you remember, you probably didn't watch the Rumination Blow of Alex, but I made a comment that... Uh, Halo 2 certainly has issues, but it does have one thing over Half-Life 2. Halo 2 will actually continue. Sigh. A favorite terminal. No. Oh yeah, I have 27 points, by the way, for playing the whole game. Which is about a fourth, no, a fifth, excuse me, of what you need to unlock everything. Worst mission in the franchise? I've actually already answered that. The one right after Library, Two Betrayals in Halo 1. I mean, this is the kind of music that I could see getting on a soundtrack, but in the game itself, like I said, I feel the direction and the utilization was a bit lacking. I've talked about that the entire time through. Uh, no, I just haven't updated the HUD. I have a really bad habit of not doing that, especially when we're at the Terminus here. The final score is plus five, and the final score here is plus nine, I think. Yep, plus nine. Here, final score. Which game had the best sniper rifle? I'm serious. Now, it's it doesn't quite get the full credit because you barely ever got to use the sniper rifle, but the sniper rifle was brilliant in four. Sounded great, felt great. And, I mean, you saw me going through that Sniper Canyon, just... <laughs> miss. <laughs> and I've already answered you, Mr. Red. Four. Again. Good, good stuff. Would I prefer in ter terms of his armor design? I don't think I have a preference.
Favorite ship name in amber clad. Let's go with that one. Whatever that one is. Or Apex of Infinity. That's a good one, too. Favorite Master Chief suit. I actually was just in the middle of answering that. You can see it on your screen right now. At least I hope you can. Are you, are you legally blind, Scott? Which game had the best Marines? Three. Three. I, I don't know if it was just a combination of factors, but three really nailed a lot of things when it came to making the AI actually worth a damn. The other one would be Reach. Oh yeah, the MCC is on sale right now, by the way, for anybody curious. Would I recommend the MCC to a friend? Yes, with a few asterisks, but yes, regardless. Frankly, I think this game is worth it just for Reach, and I mean that sincerely. Most terrifying thing about the setting? Speech. <sighs> I have to go record a rumination on this game now. It's a little late, so this is going to be one of those stay up late nights. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and chop off this little Q&A thing. I do hope you guys have enjoyed this run through the Halo series with me. Um, Halo 5, maybe someday, since apparently there's never going to be a PC port, so that's that's in the long, long in the, the fog of the future. Uh, Halo Wars 2 is already on the books. Halo Infinite is already on the books, so those two can be funded, uh, and I'm actually interested in running them. It'll be interesting because, statistically speaking, it's actually fairly possible we will play Infinite before we play 5. I've enjoyed this playthrough. I have. Um, I hope you guys have too. I'm going to go get prepped for the room. i got a lot to talk about on this one, so I'll see you guys.